Hey guys, welcome back. Hola a todos. Okay, so we're gonna pick up where we left off um, on the last video, which is where we were looking at um, some classroom objects. All right, let me get the PPT up. Here we go. Okay, so now this is a little activity in the course book. Um, but uh, yeah, we were supposed to be doing that in class, but of course we are not gonna be doing that because, you know, we're online. Anyway, um, it's just uh, you have one, one student will have a group of objects in the classroom with their names, other students will have another set, and then you need to talk to each other to figure them out. We're not gonna be able to do that. So um, I made sides of each of these, and we're gonna talk about them. So, a little bit of K is esto, what is this? And esto es, this is, now remember, there are genders in Spanish, okay? Un is a, if it's a masculine noun. Una, if it's a feminine noun, okay? So this is a book, okay? You can't tell this is a book. So in Espanol, in Spanish, this is un libro, a book. Esto es un libro, un libro. So a book, muy bien, un libro. Okay, that still is un lapis, un lapis, muy bien. That still is un cuaderno, un cuaderno, that's a notebook, so this is a notebook, okay. That still is un cuaderno. Okay. Aha, this one's quite similar to English. A dictionary in Espanol, in Spanish. Esto es un diccionario, 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 diccionario. Muy bien. All right. Paper in Espanol, papel, papel. Or in um, Spain, Spanish, they say un folio, un folio, okay, which means a piece of paper, all right? So, but for me, papel, it's papel. So esto es papel, or un folio, un folio. Both are okay. Now, with papel, paper, you also have the paper, like a uh, trash can, waste bag, waste basket, okay? So, it still is una, una, because it's feminine, okay, because it ends in A. Una papaera, 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 okay, papaera, papaera. Or in Latin America, where I study, people used to say la basura, una basura, una basura. Okay, two words, both okay. Papaera. Or basura. Basura means trash can, trash, garbage. Okay? Basura or papa era. Esto es una silla. Una silla. Remember the two L's make a Y sound. Okay? Silla. Silla. Una silla. Okay? Esto es una ventana. Una ventana. Easy. Window. Una ventana. Okay. Esto es un puerto. Okay. Puerto. Un puerto. Puer. Puerto. Puerto. Un puerto. Muy bien. Okay, so the board, okay, any kind of board, whiteboard, blackboard, green board, chalkboard, whatever, glass board, even. Una pizarra, 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 okay? Now that sounds gonna be a little bit hard for you guys, so you can just say pizarra, pizarra. Now in Spain, Spanish, you're gonna say this Z, like th, so they're gonna say something like, Pizarra, 
and they're also going to run their R system to something like Pizarra. Yeah, this is why I use the Latin American Spanish. Easier, eh? Anyway, una pizarra, una pizarra, una pizarra. Okay, pizarra. Esto es un. No, once again with the R, it's okay if you cannot do it. All right, it's, it's be difficult for a lot of people. Un borrador. Eraser. Borrador. Okay. Now, if you can do the R, great. Borrador. Pretty difficult, but try it. Un borrador. Un borrador. Okay. Backpack. Very easy. Una mochila. Una mochila. Una mochila. Okay. And that's it for that one. All right. Now, so pin. Once again, with Spain Spanish, we have a special word. But Latin American Spanish, I have only ever used pluma. As well as una pluma. As well as una pluma. Which I'm either, which means like um, like a feather, I do believe, because or a quill, because you were used to write with quills and or feathers. Una pluma. But um, Spain Spanish for the ballpoint pen, like the pen that has like a little ball in it, that is un boligrafo. Un boligrafo. So in your book, you'll see they they use un boligrafo. That is a little bit difficult and it's pretty much unique. You're only talking about one kind of pin. So that's why I like using una pluma. Because then you're talking about all the pins. All right. Una pluma. Esto es una pluma. Esto es un boligrafo. Pluma, boligrafo. Both okay. Okay. Now, this is a folder, if you cannot tell by the picture. Esto es una carpeta. Carpeta. Una carpeta. Muy bien. All right, so uh, this is another activity from the book. Um, page 16, uh, number 5.5. Um, connect with um, arrows. Um, these uh, kind of questions with like some of the. Um, let me read that in Spanish. Relación con las fechas, los elementos de los dos colores, hay dos elementos de la forma de la derecha que no se pueden relacionar. Okay, so match these with these, and there's going to be two of them that you do not use. Okay, ¿Cómo se dice ni hao en español? You should know this by now. If you do not, go back to the first video. Okay, so we're going to, ¿Qué significa mesa? ¿Cómo se escribe banco con B? Or con V, they, what I say in um, Spanish. Puedes deletrar esa palabra, por favor? Hola, esta María en Racha C. What? Okay. So, this one we should know, right? Hola, right? ¿Qué significa mesa? And of course, it's going to give you the Chinese. That one. How do you write? Como se escribe? How do you write? Banco, bank. Con B with B O. Con V or with V. Con B with B. Puedes deterrar esa palabra, por favor? Can you. Um, I hope that stopped recording because I want to look at my phone because I'm not sure what that means. Oh, what did I do? 
I hope I didn't start over. Did I start over? Hey, I'm not sure. Hope I did it. If not, we're just going to pick up here. Okay, deleter R, spell. So can you spell this word? And then you look for somewhere well, somebody's spelling. Of course, we know this. Yeah. All right. Now this, we don't know what they're saying at all. So in Spanish, it's saying, like, if you don't understand something, like in English, somebody says something, you say, what? Um, in Spanish, it's very kind of rude. That's really rude. So they say, como? Huh? Como for this for this purpose means huh what? So that's that one. Okay, good job. Now, um, also on page sixteen, you have five point five one. Uh, complete these fill in the blanks with um, words that we've worked on uh, in this lesson, like this video and the previous video. Go ahead, pause this, work on that, and then we'll come back. I sure hope you paused because I am not going to pause very long. All right, and time for you, Tyra. So for the homework, um, in the workbook, you yeah, do uh, 1.15 and 1.19. Don't do 6, 7, 8. Um, apparently, they're not very useful, I think, for y'all. Or right, maybe they're too easy. Can't waste the time, I think. So these ones seem okay. And then I want you guys to send me an audio of you saying, Como se dice esto en español? Or if you want to do the Spain accent, you can say, Como se dice esto en español? I would go with Latin American Spanish, but your choice. ¿Qué es esto? In um, Latin American Spanish. Or in Spain Spanish, ¿Qué es esto? Both are okay. And then, esto es, or esto es. And then, at least five things that we've um, learned today from this video with the classroom objects. You can choose whichever five you want to do. Remember to do, remember to use un or una to match the gender of the noun. Okay, that's pretty much what I'm listening for in your pronunciation. Gracias todos, adios.